Hey. What's up? I don't think anybody's here yet. Oh, no, there he is. There he is. So it's a negative 3.5. Uh, the thousand year door compressor. There we go. The yellow tent fix. Do not pitch a yellow tent. Don't do it. But yeah, sorry for this taking so long. I, I was having a time. I was having a time. Yeah, so... As it typically goes, I was, you know, going to the bathroom before the stream, but this was the poo that would not end. I'm sorry if that's TMI, but that's that's where I've been. And then I, you know, boot up OBS and the switch isn't showing up on the screen. So I'm like, okay, my capture card's doing the thing. So I restart the computer. Turns out my capture card was not doing the thing. And instead, <laughs> it just turned out I plugged the HDMI cable in the wrong place. So I, I did all that for nothing. Yeah, because, and you might, you might be wondering. Okay, Dustin, uh, you had the HDMI cable in the right place. Why did you take it out? Why did you take it out of its designated spot? And that is because I got a new CPU cooler, which I installed correctly. Definitely did not get stuck on the... <laughs> on the fan clamps. Oh yeah, that's right. He wanted me to find a thing. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't too hard. It was kind of like a big honking thing. Most of it wasn't too bad. The, the two parts that I got stuck up on were... Uh, taking off the old fan, like the old fan didn't want to come off, and I was really scared I was going to damage something. I didn't, but I was scared that I was. And I couldn't figure out how the, fl the fan clamps were supposed to go on. Because the manual I came with just said, yeah, just, just put the fan clamps on. Put the fan clamps on, forehead. And it didn't tell me how to do it. Like, it had a picture, but it was very... It was black and white and kind of basic. So I had to look up a video <laughs> to see how I was supposed to put that on. But yeah, the rest was pretty simple. The rest was pretty dang simple. Just a matter of, you know, unscrewing a thing. Screwing the new thing in. Putting some, like, thermal... Thermal sludge on there. And it works pretty good. I, I've noticed a drop in it of at least 10 degrees, and that's Celsius, so that's a big deal. So it looks like it was an autograph, eh, Luigi? Mm, yes, just as I suspected. Oh, the conductor just came by looking for you, Luigi. This smells of a new mystery. Yeah, and hopefully this time I will not miss extremely obvious clues. And I will actually do- I will actually do the puzzle and not make people scream. Oh, look, it's like a lit candle. No, I want to touch it. I want to touch the candle. Wait, I can stand on the egg. I can stand on the egg. This feels like a clip waiting to happen. This feels like 
Like, you can glitch out of bounds by doing this. Hello, Callum. Uh, 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 no. Okay, if you can clip out of bounds doing that, then I, I lack the skill to actually do it. Maybe a speedrunner will be like, yeah, you can clip out of bounds with that. Are there anybody to talk to? Maybe I shouldn't be wasting so much time. The fat man. Oh no, he's saying the same thing. I wonder what's for dinner. Uh, hang on, let me let me change this right here. Let me uh change this to like warm, like w slightly warmer light, because that that ring light is is just blinding me with the force of the sun. Okay, the conductor. What do you got? <laughs> Driving a night is so mysterious, what with all the lights and bugs and whatnot. Well, let's all hear it for the XS Express. Huzzah! Huzzah! Are you not the conductor? He should be in the fourth car. Is the conductor not the dude that drives the train? Car one. Oh no, he's at the he's at the back. That's the engineer. Oh, okay. I don't know how trains work. I'm just gonna tell you. Like I had a train phase when I was a little boy, as mo most of us do. You know, trains or monster trucks or spaceships, something like that. But I I didn't I didn't retain anything from that. Little Dustin would be disappointed <laughs> at how little 27-year-old Dustin knows about trains. <laughs> Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. Oh, something sus. Those wooden train tracks were the best. Oh, so you had those too, eh? Eh? I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. It means somebody came on board without a ticket. My hair looks atrocious. Stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, it'll be I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I'd thank you. Call me Blanket P.I. Why would you do that? Honestly, great, thanks. Well, I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. No, don't call me Blanket P.I. That's a terrible name. Hey, uh, by the w by the way, what's a detective anyway? We must get him something that befits the station of our family. I have my reputation. No, I think I already read that. Yeah, see, I was big. I was big into Thomas the Train back in the old days. Back in the old times. <laughs> Thomas had never seen such bullshit before. Uh, I mean, Mario, you should really question that guy about the, the blanket, you know? What's this? There's an unticketed passenger? Just as I suspected. The conductor was one blanket short, eh? And we are hunting a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in Cabin 8. Rudimentary, my dear boy. That is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth apprentice. 
You must strike out on your own with that little nugget of investigative wisdom. Of course, I have other hints to share if I so choose. No, truly. For example, the unticketed passenger is without a doubt our yummy, sticky suspect. You know, I doubt that last part, but... The fact that he's only one blanket short is actually a good observation. I have to give it to him. Okay, okay, okay. Same thing. I mean, it's, it's probably not going to be the employees. But you never know. Wait, this is my room. Unless I did it. And I was looking for me all the time. <gasps> Spooky ghost. Spooky ghost bed. So you found me. Well, as you can see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell, it tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? All I need is... a tailor. YOUR LIFE! Nah, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear is that someone would find and read it. My fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, but can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. And don't you even dare read my diary. Because if you do... <laughs> a horrible fate awaits you. You've met with a horrible fate, haven't you? Also, I'm sorry to hear that, Callum. A scar. I didn't get no train-related scars. The one time when I was a little kid, I did <laughs> land both of my forearms <laughs> on a heated oven on my birthday. <laughs> and that was not fun. Did you find the blanket? Oh, wait. For context, there was this one train set where I had part of the tracks were made of metal. And part of one of them got bent somehow. It was a connecting piece and it had a pointy end, so I tried to bend it back to normal. But then I cut my thumb on it while trying to do that. Oh. Yeah, that's that's not good. If only you had some pliers. Am I like roughly centered on the webcam? I hope so. I have a hard time with that. Did you find the blanket? What? A ghost? Eek! And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. Uh, so we finally get to go in here, eh? And we get to snoop! Also, imagine being the poor soul working for this train who has to find a dead toad in the passenger room. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's pretty whack for a Mario game. This game does not shy away from such things. Except for the censored murder scene, but that did have blood, so I will give it that. A ragged diary. Anything around here? Any secrets? Any secrest? No? Did you find the diary? Wonderful, I knew you would. 
Now I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. Well, you know what? A little, a little peek couldn't hurt. You know, just a little, just a little peek. I got on a train today, and on that train... You looked! Even though I told you not to! Now see what happens! Yeah, I just, I wanted to, I wanted to show that. We don't even get to read anything juicy before he kills us. It's literally just, he got on a train. Oh wait, I could be... I could be using this feller. Speed things up a little bit. But I forgot what room he was in. There he is. Oh, he's my neighbor. Our neighbor. Did you find my diary? In that case, can you place it in that drawer? I mean, somebody could still read it. You know, we- I- I think- I- I think if you really wanted to be safe, we could- we could burn it for you. Like, Vivian could burn it. <laughs> so nobody could read it. I don't know, but it's- I mean, it's your- it's your diary, man. You do whatever. It's your- it's your ghostly apparition wish. Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. And the blanket actually goes off the bed. That's- that's nice. <laughs> you were worried that it was gonna delete your save. No, thankfully this game is not Banjo-Kazooie. This- this game is very... <laughs> This game is very conscious about wasting your time, like it... This is a very not time-wasting game. Well, maybe not. It, it, okay, let me put it this way. Except for the padding... <laughs> it, the game does not waste your time that bad. You were very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. You'll probably never meet me again in this world. Bear thee well. Well, actually, maybe not. <laughs> I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wood paneling's so great. Maybe I'll just stay here a little while longer. I can leave whenever, it's like, you know, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Alright. You know, I mean... You know, why, why rush the rapture, really? You know, we can, we can go to heaven whenever we, whenever we need to. Alright, just checking the webcam. And then, and then I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch this VOD, and it's gonna be, it, like, I, for, I was like this for a whole hour. But yeah. Yeah. Got it. So, Mr. Mario, how did you do with the blanket? Here you go. You are slightly off to the right. 
So, let me see, what direction do I gotta push it in to make it not like that? I think that one. Eh. Maybe this is better. Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. Thank you. Getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night? You're in cabin five, in case you forgot. You don't think that changed much? Okay, how about this? How about this? Let's see about that. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. Or I'm the conductor of the Excess Express. Of course, the problem might be that my webcam might not be cropped evenly. So, so like on another source, I might be further to the right than I than I should be. Oh, see, look, it's closed now. I am doing prep work for tomorrow's meals, which will be plates of glory. Ah, uh, traitor's tongue. I am doing prep. Oh wait, what did, what did he say? Because I think I just read that correct. Perp work. Ah, uh, oh, Freudian slip. Freudian slip. The kitchen is closed. Yes, it is. And yet you're still here. What's up with that? Hey, let's grab a few winks, huh? Yeah, all right. So we got three days that it's gonna take us to actually get there. Day two. Oh, I got a letter. Local mystic Mer Lovely was taken to the hospital today, followed quickly by hordes of concerned fans. Luckily, according to a spokesperson for the hospital, Mer Lovely suffered from nothing more than a severe case of indigestion caused by a wild binge on eight mushroom steaks. The divine diviner exclaimed that her aura was brimming with the power of steak, but this reporter can't help but wonder why she failed to predict the gastrointestinal adventure in the first place. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about psychics, ain't it? I'm, I'm gonna take a swig. There's a lot of, there's a lot of talking in these RPG streams, so you gotta stay moisturized. You gotta moisturize the old tongue. This time, let's head to Keel Hall Galleria. We are proud to toast the entrepreneurial spirit shown by the managerial team who brought free commerce to this deserted island. I really wanted to do something that had never been done, gush the unsinkable proprietor and former fight fan. Call me the invincible shop master from now on. I'm 100% serious. Print that. <laughs> We wish him all the success that he can grab with two hands and wrestle to the mat. Okay, peach tart. Take a peach and a cake mix, yeah. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. I forgot where you can get the peach. I don't know where the peach is. Hello, it is a good feeling day, isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I will make food so delicious it will make the day mad. Hoi, 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 hoi. Hoi, 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 hoi. Oh, oh, I've walked in on a chat. Ah, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant Luigi. Okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed with ca the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive. The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky yet yummy shellac. 
If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could more than lose more than my job. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it. Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. The thief is still on the train. Pennington, you've done it again. Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin too? They have both lost something on this train. The, wait the, the waitress lost shell earrings, and the lady, Toodles, lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole these objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they could make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before the dastardly plan is put into effect. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess- I guess I'll do it! I do everything in this house! Good morning, mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. He's become Australian, I guess. Top of the morning to you, Gonzalez. I'm afraid you saw us at, at our arguing worst yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. Little Bub sh sure has been in high spirits since yesterday. I wonder why he's so happy. You know, you could like, talk to your son. You could like, actually speak to him. Alright, no one's suspicious, this guy. We will be stopping at Riverside Station today, around dusk, I believe. Okie doke. We're gonna go into the river. Crash this train with no survivors! Okay, he's, he just says the same thing. Good morning. So, any chance you've seen my shell earrings anywhere? Uh, no. You know, what if they both st stole from each other? That would be pretty funny. I didn't mean to do that. This is my room. <laughs> this is the ghost room. Ghost couldn't have stole it. He said he can't pick anything up, so... Hey, morning, Mario. Have you been to the dining car yet today? I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It was like a bad, chowdery nightmare. But thanks to that incident, the cook and I are pals now. Isn't life weird? Well, hello there, you cute, cuddly bear of a man, you. You're delightful, dear. Have you found my gold ring? Don't grow desperate now. I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. This is off topic, but I saw that romhack.net... Romhacking.net is ceasing, and will primarily just be an archive now. Yeah, I, I posted that in Club Saturn, like, right before the stream started. That... that sucks. Oh, what, what is this? A piece of papor. Can I read the papor? The wood pulp, if you will. Nope. Cannot read. Yeah, uh, admittedly, I only skimmed the story. I only really read the part where, like, it's shutting down, there's, there's bots. Oh, I don't know, but... but yeah, there definitely seems to be more to it than just that. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's take this paper back. I will admit, gameplay-wise, uh, the first part of this chapter is really like a just kind of just a lot of talking. 
I, I will admit that, like, story and presentation, I love it, but I will admit that gameplay, I guess, could leave a little bit to be desired. You know, just to be, just to be fair about everything. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? What is this paper, hmm? What sort of clue is this supposed to be? Heck, that's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Cabin 1, you say? Yes, Zip Toad's room. A place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he is hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi. Find that zip toad. We will find him. I will capture him. And no one will ever die again. Okay, so we gotta figure out where this guy might be. Yeah, yeah, we already talked to them. Who is in here? Nobody? Nothing? Might have to... Might have to bring Vivian out. No? But either way, we might need her to hide if we are to catch him. We are to catch the perpetrator. Then it would be advantageous for us not to appear to be there. Yeah, same thing, same thing. Jump up on the counter. Are you supposed to be able to do this? Probably not. But you can do it. No, wait, hang on, hang on. Hang on. No, 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 I don't want to talk to you. I mean, you're a very lovely chat, but I, I don't want to talk to you. Ah! No, one more time, one more time. I want to, I want to try some. No, 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 no. I just, I want to land on top. Land on, land on top. Maybe if I do like this number. No, you get like a boost of speed when you land. Okay, last time, last time. This is stupid, and it's not gonna be important. You know, actually... Actually, what would be smarter is to just do it on this side. Oh wait, you can't, because there's a lamp in the way. I was gonna say, because there's a wall that can keep you from falling off. No. Oh, well, actually, I got one more idea. I got one more idea. If I press B, like, right as I land, maybe I can do it. Oh, no, but I landed on the lamp. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I was just gonna see if I could get anything funny to happen. But it appears not. Okay, he's not in my room, is he? Is it, oh, oh. Another document from the briefcase. The suspect must be in here somewhere. Yeah, I told you. Zao, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. <laughs> Youch!
So this was our man all along, pretending to be zip-toed, I see. All the while pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm, yes, this was all just as I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses! I only go almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station, too. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend, and the good people on this train are now safe. For indubitably, no one escapes no one escaped from this improbably large brain. Hmm, <clears throat> yes. In any case, at least return what you have stolen, Fink. Blech. Ah! My precious briefcase! Is the nitro honey syrup safe? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank the stars, it's safe. Now I won't get the sack. Our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. Attention all passengers, this train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. <laughs> hey, I think not, Slick. You think you can... You think you can hold me? No way. Beldum would flip if I let that happen. This old zip toad thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers! Dupless! Beldum's plan to gooify Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Beldum. See ya, suckers! Yeah, you remember him? Remember me? <laughs> Wanna get outside for a second? The exit is in the first car. I can read, I promise. Yeah, sure, let's... Let us leave. Let us stretch our legs a little bit. What would you say your favorite chapter is? Dang, it's... it's there, there's so many good ones, but I'd say it'd have to probably be between maybe like three or four, I want to say. But this is a very good one as well. It's it's up there. This is probably like my third pick. So super cool looking. I want to drive it right now. Oh, little Bob really likes trains, does he? What does one buy a train? I don't know, man. I'm not the guy to ask about any of that. Oh no, what do we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge. The train can't even leave the station like this. I saw some suspicious looking shadowy people wearing hats go into the station. They must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. If you could make a Paper Mario chapter, what would you do? I don't know. I, I, I haven't really thought about it. But that switch hasn't been used in so long. I don't know where the control room is. So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this. Since you are the famous Mario and all, could you find and throw that switch? Maybe? Yeah, I mean, I do everything in this house. Hey, Greeny. No time to get started like the present, so here's the station's entrance key. I mean, honestly, maybe it's cliche, but I would probably want to do, like, a really dark chapter, just, like, just see how far Nintendo would let me push it. Which is funny, because that's not really what I do, like, with any fan works. Because I want to make something, like, kind of Nintendo-esque, but 
Well, I mean, once I have actual Nintendo over here telling me what is and isn't okay, I would just see like, okay, how far will they let me go with this? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh, right. You're the, you're Battle Man. Battle Man Johnny. <clears throat> I've been cooked up in there breathing stale air too long. What, I don't know why I'm giving him this voice. Would they let you go farther than some of the stuff in Super? I don't know. I mean, Super went pretty far as it was, so I don't know. I want to go out and take a walk so I can build up an appetite for dinner. Okay. You see, it's funny because he is the fat man. And he does fat things. You feel me? Ah, oh, my dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip toad. He was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Too bad he gave us the slip like that, though. He was a rather slippery sort. We could have questioned him about all of that Beldum business. Yeah, yeah, he absolutely knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, definitely. This is Riverside Station. We stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge here from when pleasure boats cruise this canal. But it hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and turned to pasture. Oh, okay, so... So this, this place is pretty much abandoned. Okay, I gotta find the key. Oh wait, I, he gave me the key, never mind. I forgot. Yeah, pretty well, pretty well abandoned this place. Oh, but the atmosphere is so good. I remember there's a line in Color Splash where they make fun of the fact there's only so much they're allowed to do without raising the game's age rating. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I will say. I, I will give it the Color Splash. That's a funny line. I also like an Origami King where you can't go in half of the doors in Peach's castle and Bowser's just like... Like, LAZY DEVELOPERS! <laughs> like, that's really good. Elevator to the bridge control room. Oh, uh, we need the elevator key. Let's go find ourselves an elevator key. Any secrets in here? Also, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the battle theme sounds like. Also, mild spoilers. There's going to be a battle here, but I, I I'm sure you could have predicted such a thing. Yeah, I. Honestly, I'm more negative about Origami King than many. Like it, it's it's the best out of the modern three. I will say that much. But it still is just not quite what I want to see from this series. It's close, but no cigar, if that makes sense. And honestly, that kind of made me more upset than even Color Splash did. Because I was like, well, just just go the rest of the way. Just go the rest of the way, make it good. <laughs> but the atmosphere of this place is really nice. Yeah, because it frustrates you so much. I, I feel that. That's really how I feel about the whole thing. I mean, I'm probably gonna need Goombella to tattle. I forget if I've ever fought this dude before. Oh, okay, they're they're going in with the jazz. Oh wait, I don't have the, I don't have the multi jump. Oh wait, did I? I I didn't change my badges from when I was fighting. Uh, what- what's his face? Prince Mush. I mean, I like this part a lot. This is a rough puff. Don't confuse them with dark puffs. Although, I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them, but anyway. They swoop at you or charge themselves with electricity before unleashing lightning. Oh, and if you touch them while they're charged, you'll get a shock. And they'll absorb any lightning attacks you throw their way, so don't do that. 
And yeah, it's the it's the dudes. It's the dudes from Paper Mario 64. I mean, this game's pretty good about, like, Paper Mario 64 callbacks, like, even the original version. Though the remake added several more. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna need to switch. Ow. Well, okay, I don't need to switch anymore. Yes! The cube! The cube awakens! Big money, big prizes. I love it! Okay, well, hang on. While we're... While we're doing this, let me, uh... Can I... Is there, like, a quick way to just remove all? I don't think so. Oh, wait, no. I might as well... Yeah, that one's free. You might as well leave it on. I just wanna want a fresh start. Okay, so sort. Oh, oh, but you can have. Uh, yeah, you can open up this menu to see which ones you already have on. I mean, it said that. I don't know why. I just didn't see it really. Okay, so damage dodge. Yeah, I definitely want that. Defend. I mean, I could double defend. But I, I'll hold off on that. Use multiple items during battle. No, I don't think I need that. Dang, there's, there's so many choices. Yeah, I'll put that on. That on. Put those two. Now, you know what? I'll put one on Mario, one on the partner. Yeah, and that. And I'll, I'll put another one on. I'll put one of these, and then we got one more point. We got one more point. That I can... Do a, do something. Make it temporarily confuse. I'll just put this on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, loadout moment. Oh wait, I got I probably got a new star move I could use. Zeal's playing Puyo Puyo Tetris, by the way. Oh no, it's Sweet Feast. I already did that. I think, right? I think. Yeah, because I, I fought, like, Prince Mush. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! Yeah. Anything down here? Anything down here? No. Okay. Alright, so we gotta do actual platforming. Crap. They, they probably want you to stand there and actually memorize it. Okay, so yellow, green, red, green. Red. Blue. Wow. 
There you go. There you go. Simple. You gotta roll under this thingamajig. Gotta do a Metroid. Gotta do a Metroid. Metroid moment. Ice storm. Good, 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 good. Can I go under this? Yes, I can. There might be things under here. I don't know. Anything? Any things? Nope, just a platforming challenge. No, wait. Crap, get me on there. Wait, hang, hang on. What is this? What is this all about? Like, there's, there's other, like, little holes in there. What is that about? Oh, is that just for the... I think that's just for the great. It might just be for the great. Go, Coop! Good, 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 good. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, I see that. I see that. Honestly, kind of love how there's no music in here. It's just, it's very foreboding, isn't it? I feel uneasy about this whole thing. Oh, this, this sounds great. Okay, so I'm gonna have to tattle these guys. That's a poison pokey. As you probably guessed, it's a poisonous pokey. If you get poisoned, your HP will slowly drain, so you may want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they have spines all over, so don't touch them. They may be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. No, I figure they're, they're, they're smiling because they're thinking of all the horrible things they're about to do to me. Oh, well, crap. I, I did the very thing I was not supposed to do. Yeah, I forgot the timing on, on his move. I mean, not that I need to do the stylish, because look at it. Look at my bar. Ooh. G g grab the thing, Mario. <laughs> Can I fall off of here? Yes. But hang on, there might be stuff this way. And in fact, there is. You know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and use Art Attack. Because, you know, you might as- you got this stuff, you might as well be using it. Oh. The power of art compels you. Need as many coins as I can get if I'm gonna get that Luigi badge. The Luigi badge? Oh wait. You know, I'll I'll use this. Uh use it on Mario. Oh no, he's gonna use a- a nasty item on me. I'm going to freeze him so that he cannot do that. I'm going to use my own nasty item so that he cannot. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, this battle theme is really good. I like that. Okay, any... any secret panels? Secret panel! Oh, but there is a shine sprite, see? See, I told you. But you didn't believe me! Why didn't you believe me? What- what is the timing for that? Ah, oh, come on! I pressed it too early. Didn't get poisoned, but still, you know, still, my failure remains. We have photographic evidence of my failure for children to point and laugh at for decades to come. That's the dual-edged sword of streaming, really, is that if you do something sick, then everybody can see it. Everybody's like, wow, he did something really sick. But then if you do something not sick, then they're like, wow, he did something really not sick. I think I can use Art Attack again. Either way, it gets clipped, yes. It's the great equalizer, truly. All succumbs to the Twitch clip. Oh, we are s very close to a level. Honestly, Kind of obnoxiously close. The game is kind of edging me a little bit. I'm just gonna say it. Okay, one. Okay. You know what, I'm just gonna save again. Just- just in case. Just in case, you know, my- just in case my switch spontaneously combusts or something. You never know. I like that this is the most resilient paper in the whole game. Oh. Dude, have I- have I tattled these guys before? Your save data would be in peril in that situation. Yeah, technically true, because I don't have Nintendo Switch Online right now, so it's not getting backed up to the cloud even. Not even the base tier. Nope. <laughs> I am- I am online-less at the moment. Just didn't bother. Now, that did mean that I missed out on the Thousand Year Door avatars, which makes me a little bit sad. But I- you know, I got the- the Thousand Year Door game for the Nintendo Switch family of systems, so I- I did the important part. Wink at Mario to give him the courage for an extra action. Ooh. I forgot about that. I-I'm still shocked that you can... <laughs> that you can, uh, stylish the tattle. I mean, I would use a special move. IF I HAD ONE! Uh... Hmm, yeah, I guess I got this. The power of Zeus! <laughs> Oh, level up. And you know what- you know what that means! Give me bag! This is- this is a bag run. Mostly. I like that Goombella now has more health than Mario. Alright, so now that we got more bag power... Oh, and a slow mushroom. We can put on more bag. 
I mean, I could just make up for my weaknesses with a bag. But I mean, I don't really need to, is the thing. Hmm. You know what, I'll put this on right now. This is particularly useful in the current moment. Okay, so I have stopped him from using an item. He didn't freeze! Nice to meet you, Batman. Okay, Goombella can't do much, but she could allow Mario to do- Well, then again, what's, what's really the point of that? Ba-ba-bombast. Hey, you know what? You know what? Sure. Oh yeah, that's right. He don't he don't care about that. He don't care about that. Well, whatever. It took out it took out the other guy. It was a bit of a waste of FP, but you know, we can't oh, that's right. That's also an explosion. You know, I've seen an explosion in my day, and yep, that... That is what I would qualify as an explosion. Got a Mr. Softener. Okay, who would, who would be the handiest to have here right now? You know what, I'm gonna I'm keep coops out. Okay, hang on. We're going down the, the tube. Okay, so we gotta pick a direction here. I'm gonna choose this one. And now this is some real Metroid stuff right here. Like, we we straight up got a Morph Ball tunnel. Bag! Power up, defense down. I see, yes. No, give me that. Pachinko! Ah! I fell in the dried mushroom chamber! Oh wait, I gotta go up there. I gotta get up there. Cause that- there's something in there that I want. There we go. I think you gotta press it, like, while he's in the middle of his arc. I did it! <laughs> I actually did it! I did the action command in an RPG made for babies! Truly, my mother will be so proud of me. I mean, technically, I don't have to kill all these guys, but, I mean, more experience means more bag. And you know how I feel about that. It's like a heart, or maybe a butt. I wonder if you can just cancel out when you've done, like, all the damage you could possibly hope to do. Yes, yes. Oh, and also I need money for the Luigi bag. Yes, freeze! 
Freeze him! One of the arts earlier looked like a Millennium Falcon. Yes, that was on purpose. Okay, no, I pressed it at the wrong time again. It was- it wasn't on purpose, I'm lying. I'm a dirty, filthy liar for no reason. When do you press that? I have totally forgotten when you press that. I mean, I could talk to Senior Battlemaster, but... You know. Okay, there we go. You know what, I'll, I'll grab this. Why not? I got a few slots open. Oh, wait, no, I don't. No, I don't. You know what? I will use it then. Uh, anybody missing health? No? Okay. Well then, never mind, I don't want it. I didn't mean to hit him. Super Mario World bounce sound effect! You better not be lying about that Flash game stream. No, I'm just lazy and procrastinate. <laughs> and have like a million games that I want to play. Do I want to go in that one? Oh, wait. Soup! Soup! Okay, do I have anything that's not as good as a soup? Oh, wait, uh, why do I have this whack -a bump I really should have put that in storage. Okay, here's what we do. First, we get blessed by the gods and become freakishly powerful for no reason. Aw, oh, crap. Crap, I don't have the juice. I don't have the juice required. Yeah, like, I, I pressed A when I thought. How many Flash games would there be? It, it honestly depends. I was thinking about getting the elephant collection at some point and playing that. Actually, I might have already bought that, I forgot. Because, yeah, they, they made a, a whole collection of those and put it on Steam. Ow. Nah, I can super guard. Don't worry, guys, I can super guard. You know what, actually, I have a good idea. No, wait, no, I don't. Because I don't have any FP. Yeah, that's the thing about the multi-bounce, is that... ...you can't, like, do the follow-up. Oh, you know, that would be very convenient. And it is. The game, once again, will allow me to not use items. And hoard all of my items, like some kind of hoarder. And I will leave my dried mushroom there. ...for future generations to enjoy. Okay, now what's the deal here? There's a chair. The old riverside cuck chair. Okay, I don't know what this is about. Oh no, yeah, actually I do, never mind. I know what this is about. Oh, the records room. 
new record. This is just a Goomba. This is just a freaking Goomba. Be good if they give you the option to upgrade inventory space. Yeah. I agree. So wait, wait, how many... What number am I trying to get here? Hang on. Hang on, there's gotta be something that tells me the number. And I'm gonna find it. One. Uh, three. Ten. I don't get it. One, okay, one. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. I know. No, that's how many times you gotta push it. I thought I was gonna be doing like a math puzzle. Where it's like, okay, you gotta figure out how to add up to, to this much. But no, it's just- it's just press it this many times. Alright, what's the deal with this? See, sometimes I forget this is indeed a game made for babies. Oh! Oh no! No, I want that! I want it! But my inventory's full. I don't know if I can carry it. You know what, I'll use, uh... You know, we'll, we'll exchange one for another one. My friend Isaac DMing me, even though he knows quite well that I'm streaming. I mean, I don't, I don't really mind, but I don't know what, you know, ex he expects to get out of me right now. Oh, take a look at this. Take a look at this. The boots. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. It's nice to see you again. Way to get the ultra boots. Now your jump attack power will go way, way up. And you, you mean like by one point. And you can use a new, new jump technique too. Let's practice it right now. It's a little hard, but I know you'll get it. Just hold down A and then rotate to make your body fold up. And release A to do a giant spring jump. Remember though, you need to rotate a lot before you release A, okay? The spring jump can help you reach new areas since you can grab pipes above you. Yes, move left and right, and then let go. Hey, Isaac, we were just talking about you. Most situational power-up. I mean, let's be real, a lot of, like, the jump and hammer and whatnot upgrades, they're, they're just keys. They're very cool-looking keys, but they are keys. Yeah, so... I think this is how I get that shine sprite back in, uh... Bogly Woods. Hello, Zero Kirby. We were just talking about you. We were just talking about how you DM'd me. Don't... Don't need to get so self-conscious about it. Okay, now we sw we swoosh. But I want to go over there. I want to go over there. I deemed it- No, Isaac! Oh god, it's a miscommunication frenzy. Does your Discord not automatically disable notifications when you stream? It does, but not on my phone. And I have my phone right here because I'm using a... 
you know, I'm using the old touch portal majig. What, what was that key? Was that the, the elevator key? Yes, it was. Okay, so we gotta head back now. This kind of sounds like uh, that one song from Wario Land 4. I forget which one it is. Is that pinball zone? Dun 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 dun. But yeah, the battle theme's pretty good. Uh, Callum told me he liked it a lot. I think he left. But yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. I didn't have like a huge. I didn't have a huge reaction to it, but I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's good. I don't, I don't react to things that much. <laughs> or at least, you know, sometimes it's like, okay, you either get, you either get like some kind of stupid reaction. Or you get like no reaction and me just saying cool. Like Mario and Luigi Brothership was announced and I was just like, why yes, that is pretty based that this series that has been dead for like, what, nine years is finally back? You would think, you would think I would have had a bigger reaction to that. Oh, what the heck is, what the heck is that? Whoa, Gonzalez! What in the world are these little monsters? Let's chase them off and find that switch fast! Ugh. Get out of here, black mold. Wait, what's up here? Can I not? I don't think I can go up there. Get. 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 Okay, we've done some mold removal. Oh, oh, okay. That's how you get up there. I mean, why? Why is this just not the switch? Why is this? <laughs> this, this lever makes a staircase so you can push this button. It's a two-stage process. We call that two-factor authentication. I don't know if that picked up, but I'm going to say excuse me anyway. And for that one. Up! Alright, everything has been t a taken a care of. Dustin incriminating himself. I I'm turning myself in, okay? Part of me wants to use this guy to try and remember when Cooper's time- Coops is timing- I'm sorry. He just- he lives in the shadow of Cooper to me. I, I can't help it. Oh, hey King K, what's up? Yo, G-Money, it's me, King K, your bud from the Glitz Pit. I know you remember me. How you doing? What, you off K off and fools- K off and- K, K often. KOing fools left and right somewhere else. I'm still living large in the minor league, but I'm keeping busy. You know how it is. I gotta say, thank you for convincing me to stay. You fired me up good. So are we ever gonna chill again or what? Or are we just gonna meet in the ring? Careful, next time you front on King K, I'm gonna be way, 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 way better. Keep it real. King K. Thank you for that, I suppose. All aboard. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let's go! Let's fucking go!
The King K super boss. Sadly, no. Attention all passengers, thank you for your patience. Our next stop is our last, Poshley Heights. I didn't put the reverb on that one because I figured it didn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> didn't make a lot of sense for it to have reverb. Alright, well. Excess Express, day three. Ah, oh, it's a new day. And what a cool and brisk morning. Yep, okay, well, let's... Talk to somebody, I guess. Papa, or, or you. Oi, Stash. How's your Stash? Life on the island feels great. When the sun rises, I wakey wakey. And when it sets, I tuck in for snoozer time. Perfect for a simple bloke like me, right? Every now and then, that louse Flavio drops by and spits out some bit of drivel about treading water instead of season life. But I just tune him out. So, you off on another adventure? I think that suits you best. Give them hooligans what for and save your princess. Why, why is he typing in his accent in the email? Okay, that's, that's, where, the, that's where the ghost was, that's right. My ghostly neighbor. Okay, no one in here. Let's speak to text. All right. No one in here. Okay. Are they off having a birthday party or something? Alright. You seen him? No, I'm not talk I'm not checking the console. Oh, good morning, sir. It's quite it's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Hmm? Is there something on the windshield? Yeah, what are these things? Uh, aren't those the things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. What? What? what, what, what sh 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 should I do? Uh, first, we have to ensure the p p passenger's safety. But, 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 but I have to keep, keep, keep driving the, the, tr the tr train. M m m Mario, can you check out the rest of the tr 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 train for me? Oh, and it gets darker once they cover the windows. That's a nice touch. Yep, yep, they're- they're all over the train. Alright, we gotta find the other passengers. But first, we gotta find a save. <laughs> Wild Woody-ass music. Yeah, the boss of this chapter is Wild Woody. Hey, can you do something for me real quick? I, I realize you're passed out, but... Uh, I, I need you to store this whack-a-bump. Yeah. You know, it's store the hot dog, too. And the coconut. Okay, thank you. No, that'll be all. Okay, thanks. You know, just doing some quick shopping. I don't see any reason why we, we don't have time for that. Alright, nobody in here. nobody in here you know I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that nobody is in their respective rooms oh wait I probably want Goombella out for reasons I'm sure you can assume oh there's fellers Smart, 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 smart. 
Oh my gosh, they're totally inside the train now. Let's take them out. They're leaking in just like black mold. Yeek! Oh, get out of there! Get out of there! I don't think they're gonna leave that. Oh, they have the poor conductor. How horrible. Please help him. Get out of there. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I don't think they're getting out of there. Uh, Detective Mario, you saved us again? Hey, I must have been taken by those black things while I was sleeping. Scary. Where in the world did they come in from? Wait, they still have our other paying passengers. Oh, those poor souls. Don't worry. I'll handle this. With my new jump power. That you have to l land very still in order to be able to do. You can also go back here if you want. You can land up on the crate too. You can, is there anything cool? No? Thought maybe there'd be something like behind that crate. You know, that's where I'd hide something. Yeah, you gotta you gotta jump like real still for it to work. This is the train's roof. Look at that scenery go whipping by. Wowzer. Look, this is no time for me to des be describing stuff. These guys are so annoying. They're flippy and floppy and gross and I hate them. Let's get rid of them. Eh. Eh. We're smorgan out. Smorg! What is that gross thing? No! Mario, look! It's got the other passengers! Help! Urgh! Smorg! I always thought that these guys were so freaky as a kid, like... Honestly, just the premise of you finding this creature in an abandoned building... ...and then... ...like, you wake up the next day, and it's just all over the train, like, that's some Lovecraft shit right there. Smorg Miasma. That's a smorg. Lots of smorgs have gathered to create this huge monster. It attacked with weird tentacles. We won't do any damage to the main body unless we defeat the tentacles first. That's simple biology. The tentacles will regenerate, but use that time to deal a ton of damage, okay? It may also take on other forms that expose more of its gross body, but boost its attack power. Let's just hurry and beat this thing down so we can save those trapped passengers. Okay. I got this. Ow. But yeah, like, isn't this dude, like, freaky? And they made, like, splorting noises. I don't know the timing!
I'm gonna use the fire flower. All right. I'm gonna use, uh, hmm, should I use that or? I'm gonna use Art Attack. Kinda drew a bean. Wait, only two? What do you mean only two? No, I, I mess that up every single time. I'm just gonna head bump. There we go, that's what I want. Hmm. What should I do? You know what, I'll do this. Oh, okay, I messed it up. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> cool skills, Dustin. Okay, I got it. I think I got it now. No, never mind. <laughs> I, I freaked out. I panicked. No, stop that! <laughs> Don't do that right now. Some good prep for whenever you start to tackle Souls games. True. I mean, at least I assume that's true. Do I have any other multi-attacks here? No, I do not. Okay. So I'm just gonna go for the old multi-bounce. Oh no, you, you can't attack multiple targets that way. Okay, yeah, you want to wait till like just when they get done like shaking. Yeah, like that. That's a ton of damage though. You know, I'm gonna swap her out for... Yo, let's get Bobbery in here. You know, could the audience wake up? I kind of need the audience. There we go. Thank you. Okay, gonna... No, no, wrong one. Gonna try that again. There we go. That's better. That That is better. Okay, cool. Sure, why not? Oh no! It's the prong! It's the pinchy claw! Oh! Can I just do this? Yep. Okay, bye bye. At least maybe, maybe bye bye. Yeah, I think that's bye bye. Yeah, that's bye bye. Yeah, but very cool boss. That one always left a... That one always left an impression on me as a kid. I, I always thought, like I said, this boss was freaky as hell. <laughs> okay, so we're good. We're good. Just a little black mold. Thank you.
Boy, it's like you... It's like all you did for three days was save us. How can we ever thank you? Uh, you give me 20 bucks? Uh, no, nah, Mario, Mario's is like... Everyone's safe now, and it's all thanks to you. Let's bake a cake for Mario. Oh, thank you, you shaved my life. No, stupid tongue of mine, you saved my life. So, did you all know? This dashing fellow has been the famous Luigi all along. We'll soon arrive at Poshley Heights. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. Oh yes, Buffy. The Homeowners Association. <laughs> Attention all passengers, now arriving at Poshley Heights. Please watch your step and be sure to take all your belongings with you. And thank you for choosing the XS Express. We made it, old boy. Let's find that Poshley Sanctum that Professor Frankly spoke of. Post haste. Yes, but I'm going to bring out the Goomba. Oh, that's right. She's dead. <laughs> or near it, anyway. All right, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Danger, no entry. Don't go that way. But I want to. Let me go that way. Let, let me. Let me. <laughs> this is Poshley Heights Station. The Excess Express to Rogueport is here. This place is so upscale, like the polar opposite of Rogueport. You can tell the movie stars and millionaires live here. It just reeks of cash. Oh, and it reeks of Starpies! You wouldn't happen to have a train set for sale, would you? A gold one, perhaps. Now that we're here, we'll purchase that birthday present for little Bub. Hey, mister. I'm gonna get a train set. The coolest one ever invented. I could just have them buy me a real train, but maybe I'll save that for next year. Ah. Let us relax in someone else's pool. Yeah, and also there's no mini-boss. You know, these, these games- it usually has a mini-boss in the middle of a chapter. Oh, and I can go back here. Steal from this guy's pantry. Okay, there's there's nothing up there. But maybe there's something up here. Ow! I just hit the light. <laughs> nope, nothing. But what if I went under the table? Which it actually does let me do, yes. Wait, what was it? There was an option for me to check something. What was that? Huh? No? Okay. The business people I'm waiting for haven't arrived yet, so I may do some sightseeing at Poshley Sanctum. On the expense account, of course, as if you have to ask by now. I mean, hey. If he, you know, if he wants to let big business have it, I'm not gonna tell him not. Is there something back here? Anything like cool? Why can I why can I come out right here if there's not something cool? Wait, wait, is it 
What is, is, is there something? There gotta be something. Or maybe you, you come down here at some point. Welcome to my vacation home, my alluring angel in overalls. So have you already found my gold ring? Oh yeah, that's right, I had to give you that. Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. It is merely a trifle, but please take this as my earnest thanks. I mean, it's more than I tend to get paid in this game. And farewell. Hang on, first I gotta snoop. Okay, I thought, you know, maybe you would go on her balcony or something. And you'd come out there, and so I, I honestly have no idea. But yeah, that reminds me, I actually gotta... ...give the earrings back. I gotta give the earrings back. <laughs> it would be... Irresponsible of me not to. Yeah, here you go. SpongeBob earrings. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, surprisingly, that's a pretty crowded category. She has lived a very interesting life that we will never know about. Okay, let me save one more time, just... just to be sure. Alright. Oh, wait, wait. In coupon. Cool. I'd heard Poshley Heights was a quiet place, but there are a lot of tourists, eh? Maybe I should open up a store selling Shiver City souvenirs. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, see, another Paper Mario 64 callback. Welcome to you. How'd you like to buy some high-quality fresh pasta as a souvenir? One package costs 50 coins. How about it? Uh, not right now. Oh, sorry. We're the Wandering Girls, the Traveling Sisters 3. We're staying in that luxury hotel. Poshley Heights sure is a place for the richest of the rich, huh? We're thinking of going to see the Poshley Sanctum next. Drown in the fountain. Dr drowning in the fountain. Okay, anything cool over here? What do you mean, no? Again, um, there's all these really good hiding places. Where you could be hiding stuff, I'm just saying. I I'm just saying! Intelligent systems. Yeah, see, there you go. Who lives in here? So, lovely house, eh? Uh, they, they probably have Canadian accents. That's probably what they're going for. So, lovely house, eh? Yeah, sure. Take your time to soak in all of the majesty. That, that's more... Uh, it, it just all turns to Scottish. I built it with even the I built it with even the smallest details in mind. <laughs> Not only the interior, but the facade as well. Yeah, look around outside too. I guess it's sort of fun to live here, but I can't eat snow cones or make little snowmen or go ice skating. Earning the stuff I did in Shiver City, eh? Don't know what you got till it's gone. Yeah, can't can't do that accent. I'm trying, can't do it.
could could stay in the hotel considering that we're very low on health but it'll probably cost a fortune oh but this place is so pretty though oh but I got an in coupon wait hang on Bonjour, Monsieur de la Moustache. Isn't the lass at the reception desk magnificent? I shall stay here every night until her heart is mine. I shall not tire. I've had more than enough of this guy. How does he do it? I'm almost impressed now. He moves at light speed, and he always knows where we'll be. Talk about freaky. Okay, let us have a nice stay. It was very fancy. Very fancy. Alright, so... Goombella, you're gonna sleep on the floor. I'm surprised you actually do not get control of Mario in that room. But now, you can be alone in the penthouse. Ooh. Yes. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I, I thought she might have a different one. Get away from that. Get away from that. That's my omelet. My omelet. Omelet du fromage. And yep, that is the place. That's the White House. May not look like it, but I get pretty stressed out. Like, really bad, eh? But walking barefoot on the grass like this makes me feel much better, you betcha. You gotta join me, guy? People ask me if I get tired of walking the same route every day. And I say, no way, Jose. Because it's a bit different every day, you know? I'm not the same as I was yesterday. Neither are you. Even the town changes. And you'll never see another day just like today. So treat each day like it is. Unique. Wow, that's actually... That's powerful. Hey there. Boshley Heights sure is nice and warm, eh? I I'm getting into it. I'm getting the accent. Yeah, I really dig it here. Cold places make me sneeze. I'm, I'm starting to get it. It's, 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 it's approaching. Boshley Sanctum is a rather famous building, eh? And the painting inside... No, it's turning back into Scottish. The painting inside isn't the only gorgeous thing. So is the building. I could just stare at it all day, you betcha. Alright. Gone traveling, the Sanctum Manager. No way, this is super weak. What do we do? We must sneak in to steal the Declaration of Independence. Ah, tis my dear Luigi. What are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? What? You live here? So you're the Sanctum Manager? I totally thought you were a detective. Well, yes, that is more like a hobby of mine, if the truth must be told. But enough chatter, hmm? Shall we go inside? <laughs> My Miles is Pennington's biggest hater. <laughs> they got here before us. <laughs> You're one step too late. We have the Crystal Star.
Hey, don't leave without me. <laughs> he, he can't do that, so he just he just hops out the window. Oh no, we're too late. We gotta go after them. <laughs> just a second there, Luigi. Exactly what is going on here? Speak quickly. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm, yes, quite rudimentary. So you were looking for the crystal star in this sanctum. <laughs> oh, yes, very interesting. Well, no cause for worry. The crystal star is safe. Yes, quite safe indeed. The stone that our rude friends have stolen was, fortunately, a red herring. A fake. The real one is hidden somewhere in this sanctum to prevent such a theft. However, as to the location of the real crystal star... Well, a sanctum manager, I am, of course, prohibited from telling anyone. However, I do know where it is. Of that you can be most certain. Sorten. <laughs> yes, indeed. Besides, I'm a junior detective. I'm sure a ju junior detective like yourself could find it on your own. Freudian slip there, dear Luigi. Uh, sorry. Now, Luigi. Put to use all of the razor-sharp sleuthing skills I've taught you. Make me proud. <laughs> I think it's time for some more of that, quite honestly. <laughs> this is Poshly Sanctum. It sure is spacious inside. Echo, echo, echo. Does Pennington really live here alone? I bet it's hard to clean this place. Though I must say it is quite spotless. Quite spotless indeed. I'm going to leave the echo on because I think it helps the ambience. Oh, wait, there's a marker right here. This this place is so good, gorgeous. Like, look at the light coming in from the windows. That is it. And it and like it even even casts onto Mario. That is so pretty. Aha, a block. Thank you for not falling down, so I don't have to do all that again. Was it this pretty in the original, too? Uh, I mean, not this pretty, because obviously we got way more lighting effects and whatnot, but I do remember it being quite a sight. Okay, just gotta walk down here. Wait, let's keep going. Let's keep going and see what happens. Ooh, a present. Okay, thank you. I was like, it's gonna tell me my inventory is full, isn't it? And there's a pipe, but where could it lead? You know, I'm not even gonna ask how that works. I mean, it's not the first time Mario's gone into a painting. Is this part of Poshly Sanctum too? Exactly how does all of this work? Whatever, this must be the secret resting pace place of the Crystal Star. Based on his reactions, I'd say that Pennington didn't even know about this. Oh, this song is really good. Hang on. Holy crap, dude.
But there's spooky booze. I mean, booze are already spooky, but these are even spookier! That's a dark boo. Purple just looks so wrong. These boos are so creepy. It's attack and HP are high, but they're like other boos. Ordin they're like ordinary boos otherwise. So just attack it like a normal boo. Get it before it turns invisible. Alright, will do. Yeah, Goombella is not a fan of perp. She would not like Waluigi, which is very unfortunate for her, given what is uh, coming. Oh, we are very close to a level up. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, uh, oh wait, I thought it said my- <laughs> I thought it said that it wore off, but no. Now, I mean, I could avoid most of these. But I'm not gonna. Because, you know, I could, I could get a level up out of this. And money, obviously. I don't know if I'm gonna fight all of them. Well, I mean, that guy was- that was just one guy. Uh-oh. They're getting tricksy. Oh, pfft. Yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. And you know what we're gonna do? Yeah, buddy boy. Yeah, buddy boy Johnny. More bag. Okay, I'll, I'll avoid these. What What's up here? Anything of particular interest? L, 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 L. And also a, a boo item, but L. L so big that Wario had to switch doors on your ass. God, this song is so good! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, and also good we came over here because of this. I fell off. You fell off. L. And ratio.
I skip at least a couple of these hanging bar parts. I mean, I guess I could have. Whatever. But yeah, put it on and... Duichi! Duichi colors. Okay, nothing else up here. Okay. There's a notable lack of enemy variety in this game, especially the latter half, at least when compared to Paper Mario 64. I mean, I can see that. I, didn't, I don't think it's too bad, but yeah. I definitely see where you're coming from. I mean, there are certain things that Paper Mario 64 does do better than this game. I won't... I'm not gonna say, like, every single thing is better, you know? It would be really funny if Pennington started calling you Mario when you put on Luigi colors. Oh, I learned Showstopper. Yeah, that would be really funny. Sadly, I don't think he does that. I, I think the implication is that he just doesn't know who Mario is. Like, Luigi is a bigger celebrity here than Mario. And, I mean, very well he should be. He has his own biography out. Mario found the sixth crystal star hidden craftily in the Poshley Height Sanctum. Now only one crystal star remains. But our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be? And where is Peach being held? Hoping this crystal star might yield answers, Mario and his friends return to Pennington. Oh, okay. Oh, I still had the echo on for all that. Which I mean is fine. We're not... We're not quite done in here yet. I felt like ground pounding into the pipe should let you, like, do the... do... You know, go in. Hmm. So that is where it was. Oh, or nothing, nothing. Just talking to my brain. All geniuses do it. Congratulations, Luigi. You have found the real crystal star. But oh, please, feel free to take it. I will just put another fake one over here. Well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit, rather fun as well. I'm sure you still have a long road ahead, Luigi, but do not give up. <laughs> Let's return to Rogueport. Okay, now I can turn the echo off. What is the matter with you idiots? Falling for a fake crystal star? That's asinine. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I mean, sir. So let me guess. This means Mario managed to get the real crystal star. Uh, I'm gonna say maybe? Ugh. This mustache menace has nearly every crystal star now. They were mine. I think I'd better alter my plan a bit. Before you do, Sir Grotus, I think I'd better tell you something. What is it, fool? What? Are you sure? Speak! No joke, dude. I mean, affirmative, sir, dude. I, that is, I'm positive, sir. Uh, treason. Strange, isn't it about time for Tech to call me in? Maybe he's busy. Oh, here we go. Hello, Tech. What do you want today? Princess Peach, I have... I have reached a conclusion. A conclusion? I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak to you. And I have also struggled with what I should believe. Tech 
you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, please escape from this place as quickly as possible. Escape? Heck, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you procured has been analyzed and something terrible is... No, I will not say, but I have found out everything about Sir Grotus's plans. Grotus's plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes, and among those plans was the reason why you are being held here. According to the data... No, no way! That's impossible! I don't believe it! Yes, everything is true. That is why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, Tech? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am. I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. I will tell you everything. The place where you are currently imprisoned is... This is the moon. The moon? You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? That is correct. But that's unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. Won't they know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. Tech. I am the basis computer. No one will know of your escape if I keep silent. Please do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, Tech. But I must inform Mario about all this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. <laughs> Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Eek! You! Tech, you miserable machine. We all know what you're up to, traitor. Sir Grotus, I... In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Oh, you didn't? Because I, I always do. <laughs> Constantly, in fact. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose. Especially since it ends here. You monster, what are you planning to do with him? <laughs> Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuit and delete all programs and data that cause the malfunction. Obviously, all data relating to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure nothing like this ever happens again. No, I am... I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, Tech. X knots. At the same time, press the red buttons on tech sides. Got it, sir. Tech, no! Mail sent. Princess Peach, I... I... Oh. V y y Ooh. Deletion complete. Tech! <laughs> Too bad, Princess Peach. Tech is no longer with us. No, you inhuman beast! How could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. This is no time to be worrying about a computer. We have a very important role for you to play now. Yes, very important. 
No! <laughs> and now this guy. You know, complete tonal whiplash. If you wanted it. I've got no crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. Twilight Town was... Well, it wasn't exactly glorious. What's going on here? If this keeps up, Mario's gonna steal everything from my grasp. As usual. Your massiveness! We did it! The Magikoopa Scouts found a suspicious underground chamber. It isn't even on any maps. Yeah, really suspicious. Something must be there. Huh, about time. Well done. This is where it all turns around for me. Definitely. The Hammer Bros Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is impenetrable. They're scraping tooth and nail in there. No problem. Direct me there. I'll blast us through. I'm Bowser, baby. What was all that about? Eh, I don't care. Okay, one more Bowser level. It's like a castle. Oh, we can, we can destroy the fire bar. Oh wait, you gotta be like small bows. You gotta be like small bows to get in there. Yeah, baby bows. Oh, but I want that. I want that up there. Well, actually, oh, what? Oh, no, I, want, I didn't want to leave yet. Hang on, could I die? I thought they, they looked like there was a secret in there. So, do I actually get the coins from this? Does anybody know? Oh, yeah, don't- don't hit me with that. Yeah, like, there's, uh, this over here. Which is nothing. There's also, like, some, uh, coins up there. Which, I mean, I, I guess whatever. I thought there might be a secret in the bottom right, but no. Physics and collision detection are a little weird on this, but... <laughs> Incredible, Lord Bowser! Nothing stood in your way! You couldn't be more super! Please, no problem. I felt right at home. But where are we now?
gracious me! Look, look, Bowser! On the wall behind you! Hello, could it be? Oh yeah, a crystal star! Advantage Bowser! <laughs> At last we found one! And now we'll all we'll make it ours! Freeze, chumps! Oh, who's there? <laughs> don't tell me you don't know the famous Rock Hawk! You little punk weasel, you forgot these muscles? You forgot this hugeness? Don't ask me how, but you cleared my secret trading facility. Not too shabby. I even imported some super freaks to up the difficulty level. You're good. Of course, good don't count for squat in this biz, babe. But my champ's belt is mine. <laughs> oh look, what an adorable little weakling. Hi, fella. Weak. Wait, what? I'm not weak. I'm not weak. You ever seen a weakling do this? Pain. Ouch. <laughs> oh, no, you're. S no, no, I'm getting the voices mixed up. No, you're sleeping. I knew you were a weakling. Oh, the crystal star. Hmm. Eek! It's split in two. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Wait. Hold the phone. My lady, my mighty Lord Bowser, this is just glass. It's a flim flam, a fake. What are you saying? Use words I know. You uh, want the real one? The great Gonzalez has it. Oh, my aching hair. Feel the rock. I don't know anybody named Gonzalez. Stop speaking in riddles, you chicken nugget. What? Who I have to flatten to get a crystal star? Who? Who? Okay, and now we are back in the port. And I'll do a little bit of after chapter exploring. Not too much. I might not listen to Luigi's story. Might not do that right now. But yeah, so if you get the Luigi badge and combine it with the W badge, you get Waluigi. Mario, you don't suppose that's an email from the princess, do you? Uh -huh. Mario, I now know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, they need my... Um, the moon? Princess Peach is on the moon? Golly. That actually sounds neat, but why is her email cut off? Wait a minute, what if something happened to her? Well, that's not good. Hey, uh, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll listen to Luigi's story, why not? But guess what I found in Rapturous Ruins, bro? Yep, a marvelous compass piece. This part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. It's pretty bizarre, bro. Wanna hear what happened? Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. After journeying deep into the Grimble Forest, I found the domed rapturous ruins. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry, and that he'd wake for a child of fate. That didn't make any sense to me, so I searched, started searching quietly for the compass piece. But then it happened, bro. I got a tiny tickle in my nose, and I let out a huge sneeze. But Cranberry must have heard it, because he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled, and all of a sudden I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of an ancient race, the Luffs. 
he had been there guarding the marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. He told me that the compass is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luff Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the compass and their empire collapsed. To prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven parts. He hid six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero woke him. I was that hero, bro. He gave it to me, and then he and the ruins vanished. When I added that piece to the compass, it pointed the far north, where the dreaded Hate Song Tower stands. This time I heard Princess Claire's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess, I will be super, and then I'll... 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 Well, I'll figure the rest out later. Anyway, I headed back here to Rogueport after that. I'm making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro, but that's what I've been up to anyway. I'm screaming. I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. For I must deliver something. Does Luigi's pal Screamy? Screamy creeps me out. I've never seen anyone like that. Where's he from? <laughs> he's just gonna... He's gonna wait and deliver Luigi a little screamer. Just a little one. Oh wait, I gotta check my... I gotta check my lottery. Gotta check my lot, lotto. No, I don't think I got any of those. <laughs> Please become organized. Ain't that the truth, brother? I'm telling you, RPGs dry my tongue out. Something fierce. Castaways return from the cursed island of Kill Hall Key. With treasure, maybe? Must this guy is back from Kill Hall Key. I wanna go. Who cares if I get cursed? A guy who wants to make some easy money. Okay, what, what do you got? Again, I'm not sure why you would want this. Oh, sorry. Okay, so here's a big thing you can do right now. You remember, you remember this? Booze sheet is a funny thing to say. Yep. You got Ultra Hammer. Yeah, they just put it here for some reason. I don't know why. You'd think they would have put it, like, somewhere in, uh, like, Chapter 7, but no. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to see you again. Way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will have even more attack power. <clears throat> and you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's just like with the Super Hammer, so no prob. Yeah, yeah. They kind of they kind of phoned it in with this one. Way to go! You got it. Are you clear on the controls? Yes. All right, you mastered the ultra hammer. Using your ultra hammer, you can even break blocks made out of stuff like this. Swing it like normal to break smaller stuff, but use the method I taught you to break bigger things. Okay. And you can use the Ultra Hammer in battle, too. Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I'll get to see you, Mario. Definitely say Princess Peach, okay? And and be careful on your quest, okay? <laughs> oh, poor thing. I don't get to be in the game no more. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so what now? I mean, there's there's definitely some stuff in the sewer. Better do a quick save. Okay, what do you got? I mean, if I get one more, I could get this, so I might hold off. But there's there's something over here we can do. Oh, but hey guys, I want you to I want you to check this out. <laughs> Long. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you can go up here. And drop down here. I don't know why. Oh, oh, now I know why. There's another thing I can do. Yes, Greeny, I know. I I'm in the process. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go, son. But he said blocks. Oh, is there another here somewhere? Because if there is, I'm not finding it. Hang on a minute. Oh, there we go. But I, my inventory is freaking full! Like it is all the time. Just get rid of this, I guess. Can I go down? Can I go down here? Yes, I can. Okay. Do I want to? That is the question. There's still this building that I have not been able to go inside. So that's definitely a little weird because yeah, I, I technically have I have all the movement options, right? So I really should be able to get in there Tell you, tell you about horsetail. Oh, yeah, please do tell me about those because I don't know where those are Okay. That's pretty good info, actually. Yeah, I know about them. I mean, I totally could just, like, turn my health into, uh, into points. Just badge points. If I wanted to. Oh yeah, I know about that.
Oh, lore. Not helpful, but lore. Hmm. That's interesting, actually. Four step from the top. There actually is something I need to go back there for at some point. Yeah, I know about that. But yeah, they make you feel really bad about that. Okay. That would be that would be handy. It's a little late for that now though. I mean, I, I have enough money to give him some because I thought I was going to have to buy the Luigi badge. And I got it for free, so... I wonder how much more he has. Oh, okay, something else. I'll have to write these down, and we'll go on a secret hunt. Okay, I might do, like, two more. Okay, like, one, one more, one more. You know, you know, Princess Toadstool, ignorance is bliss. <laughs> what does ignorance mean? Okay, so I think there's something over here. Again, don't know how I'm getting in there. But I assume we'll find it at some point. Yeah, there's a block here that I can smash open. Uh, does that- does that lead to the pit? Cause I kinda don't wanna go to the pit right now. Where does this go? Oh no, it, it leads here. I don't need to go here yet. 
Boy, this is darn cold. Where is this place anyway? Yeah, we don't need to go here yet. Yeah. I'm surprised it even lets me, but... You know. Oh, Koopa Patrol. Urgh. Yeah, I get super guarded, idiot. Oh yeah, that's right. I also have uh, some extra badge points I could be using. That is quite substantial amount of star points. I must say. Okay, but hang on, let me... I'll take off the spike shield, which gives me six. Okay, now, I had... that thing that gives your partner more attack. What was that? I mean, I could just give Mario more attack. Where is that? Power- it's like power plus P- yeah, power plus P. I just- I went right by it somehow. Oh my god, finally! Finally the X! The X finally marks the spot. What's in here? Oh, flower saver P. Actually, that might be more handy. I might want that, like, fl flower saver P. Or wait. Yeah, Mario, Mario. Where is it? Is, it, is that at the top? Yeah, it's at the top. Oh, but I still got two points. Well, what could I use that for? You know what, I'll, I'll put Happy Heart on. Why not? Yes, progress is being made. Finding cool things all around. Cool things to be found. Let's see, how much- how much does gulp cost now? Three. If I could- if I could get another one, honestly, I could use that for pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Yeah, just do a couple battles, I could get another level up. Cause these guys are- are giving some good juice. No, I can't- I can't take this. I'm sorry, I cannot accept this. So, I don't think there's anything in here. You just go down, like, the river. <coughs> mm, pardon me. But yeah, there is this here. Now, what is in here? FP plus. Cool. Not a bad thing to have, generally speaking. And yeah, there's one more place I need to check out.
At least that I know of. There might- I mean, there might be more, but I can't think of any. Hon honestly, I probably should have done, like, the spin hammer on him. You know what, actually, what does- what does Showstopper do? Has a chance of defeating your enemies with a single blow. It's cheap, but it sounds like it's a bit of a... a risk. And hey, it worked! Yeah, risky, but possibly rewarding. Okay, but yeah, there's- there's something over this way. Yeah, that- that treasure chest right there. See, it's not marked in this room, so you gotta remember. You gotta remember. <laughs> they got demoted. Defend plus P. Honestly, I probably could just put on like a ton of defense and, and just be like basically untouchable. Also, you can go this way. Is there a reason to go this way? We will find out shortly. Yes, it is to get in this pipe. What could be in there, you may ask? <clears throat> mm. uh, a star piece. Just the one, though. But it's got a little hammock. It's got a little hammock just for it. Is there anything else in here? Okay. I did not even intend to make a One Piece joke, but you know what? That- that works. The Star Piece! The Star Piece is real! Is this the Star Piece's home? Did you kidnap it? Its home is in my pocket now, boy. Okay, now, is there anything else that I could be doing before I stop? I mean, I could see if Luigi's memoir has a new issue. Pardon me if that picked up. It probably didn't, but you never know. I don't think there's any, like, pipes you can jump into out here. Nor do I think there's anywhere to use a hammer. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Super Luigi the third. Hey fellers, I'm gonna check the bad shop. I, I, I might read Luigi's book after all, and then, you know, so that way next time we got a head start on chapter seven. Hmm. Oh yeah, this... Oh wait, I need more coins. 
Hold on just a sec. Let me see if I got some cool sellables. Because that, that does sound like a good badge to have. The Ultra Mushrooms are worth, like, a ton. You know, I'll sell the boo sheet. Das boo sheet. Because, yeah, fiery and ignores defense sounds pretty good. Okay. Let's read. Let us read. Dauntless Luigi's next test came in the form of a cart race on Circuit Braid Island. Where he both won the- where he won both the contest and a compass piece. The race was fraught with danger, but Luigi pressed through adversity to win. All viewers were awed by Luigi's revolutionary racing style. The mechanic who built Luigi's racing machine, a buzzy beetle named Torque, was so stunned by Luigi's race techniques that he joined him. Reinvigorated, Luigi set sail for Jezefraz Town, where he made his stage debut. Hazy, a noted Daisy producer, gave Luigi a key role. Playing the part of an Earth Spirit to pure perfection, Luigi stole the show. Hazy's faith in Luigi's natural acting talents was rewarded. The performance won a prize, which yielded another compass piece. Hazy turned from teacher to pupil, joining Luigi on his quest. It was at this time that Luigi's heart, usually draped in the cool comfort of a hero's resolve, began to warm with thoughts of Princess Eclair. This came to be because every time the magic compass pointed to a new place, her gentle words rang in his ears, touching him to his very soul. The voice spoke of eternity, of stars in the heavens. It wept for those blind to love. It gave comfort in the face of fear and loneliness. Though he had never seen her, our hero was tormented by visions of this fair-hearted maiden. All he could do was press onward. The compass pointed toward rapturous ruins. Only two parts of the compass awaited, and Eclair had one. Okay, actually, there's one more thing I want to check before I quit playing. I want to, I want to check down here. See something. Ah, oh, Mario, it's me, Lumpy. Don't you remember? I went to Dry Dry Desert to drill for oil. Ring a bell? I... I... I did it! I totally struck oil! There were times that I was covered in dust, weak and ready to give up, but, but... But I never lost sight of the dream, and one day I finally seized it. And you believed in me all this time, Mario. You sure did. Thank you so much. I want to return your loan with a little more just to show my appreciation. Please, take this. 600 coins! Yeah, baby! Boy, thanks for everything. Now you have some capital to start your own venture. Just don't let your dream die, Mario. I know you'll make it someday, just like I did. And also, I uh, kept a journal of my trip. Do you want to read it? Oh! Okay, well, we'll do that. We'll do that next time. We'll do that next time. That that is a lot more reading than I am prepared to do right now. But yeah, now we have mucho dinero for which to spend on whatever we so choose. But not today, because I'm going to stop playing now. Next time will probably be more of this game, and then after that, uh, maybe Metroid Prime Hunters? Maybe. Maybe. But for now, thank you for joining me. Appreciatable. You can literally affordable.